to go and chase down Sato. Sato leading the race for Bobby Rahal's team. Bobby Rahal calls the shots on the pit stand there. Been a long time since Bobby's had a win. Now RHR, three laps to go. It'll be two laps at the line. RHR has 101 seconds of push to pass. Now he's on the button. So RHR could use the button for like 90% of the rest of this race. He's going to have a shot, I think, guys. For those of you turning on, expecting to see NASCAR at Darlington and the Southern 500, we'll get you there He's as right soon as this race is finished. But how is it going to finish? It's right there now, so two laps to go. Come on, line. Full overtake, last two laps. Full overtake, the last two laps. Let's do it. Two to go, less than four miles. Is it going to be Takuma Sato or Ryan Hunter? He's right there. No attack, no chance. Sato is gunning for a win. It's been a long time since he's been in the winner's circle on a road course, and he will not give up easily. Ryan can stay on the button almost always. Only when he's off throttle, coasting into a corner, will he come off it. He needs to get Sato to burn everything he has. It's going to be hard for Hunter Ray to get close to these quick corners. Sato's good in the infield. He pulls a little bit out on the infield, but Hunter Ray comes back on the straightaways. Hunter Ray's really good down here in the chicane in the last corner, but Sato's better in the infield. Can Hunter Ray be close enough PT on that front straight, heading down to the festival curves? On the final lap, Sato not using push to pass. He still has 45 seconds. Here they go. It's going to go green light right here. Like last lap, overtake all the way. Last lap coming up, less than two miles. Has Hunter Ray got something here for Sato? He's not close enough. Really only has one more chance, Paul, which will be on the back straightaway or into the tight, tight hairpin if he can get close in the infield three more corners from here, but Sato's car is on rails through these, this triple right. Well, the other issue is these corners are fast enough to where the turbulent air is just too much for Hunter Ray to get close. You've got to remember earlier this weekend it was not a positive start for either Rahal Letterman Lanigan driver, Graham Rahal or Takuma Sato. The team felt like they were a little bit one step behind, but Sato said, we had a great weekend at Road America. If we can work it out, we can have a great weekend here as well. And he's just a few more corners away from victory, which would be his first permanent road course victory. An incredible result. He's made up 19 positions from his start. He's an Indy 500 winner. He's now a Portland winner. Takuma Sato wins on IndyCar's return to the Northwest. How about that? Phenomenal effort from the Japanese driver. Takuma Sato can add Portland to Long Beach and the Brickyard as his IndyCar race victories. Ryan Hunter Ray for second and Sebastian Bourdais, an amazing podium, but perhaps, perhaps shadowing everything is Scott Dixon in fifth and will leave with the championship lead. There is Dixon, involved in the lap one crash and comes away with a top five as he congratulates Sato. Well, everybody in this field respects and admires Sato for his persistence, his hard work, his discipline, and his speed. My head is still spinning from what I went on today. This was the most wild topsy-turvy race that I think I've ever seen. It had everything. It had everything. And Takuma Sato delivers. Rahul Letterman Lanigan. Can't imagine what Alexander Ross is going to be thinking after this race. Oh, All yeah. season he's been saying, Dixon, he's just, he never has a bad day. And once again, Rossi is just going to be just puzzled and frustrated. And Rossi did nothing wrong. It's just, he was so fast. First win for Rahul Letterman Lanigan since Texas 2016. And Sato's first victory since he won at the Brickyard at the Indianapolis 500 last year. That's fantastic. Eighth different winner on the season. Really good win. Top three, all Hondas, by the way. Last win was Brazil for Floyd on a road course, three course. It's been a long time since he's had a, since he's had a win on us. Well, it's Ray Hall. The, the Ray Hall. No, I mean for Sato. For Sato. Yes. It's his first win since, uh, since the Indianapolis 500. It's his first win on a permanent road course. Since he drove for Foyt. Since he drove, well, ever. No, no, first win on a road course ever. Long Beach. Because Long Beach Street Foyt. course. Yeah. Yeah. Good run. Oh, amazing.
What a day. Hey, good for you. Saw Pagano in the background there. Boy, they'll be breathing a sigh of relief because the weekend did not start very well. And he actually started this race on the 11th row. There's a lot of people who will be taking a lot away from this day. And let's not forget, there's the green car, Spencer Piggott, the young American who finishes in the top four just off the podium. Awesome performance. There he rolls. This is new now. They're going to direct to Kumasato into the paddock where all of the fans are. And there's Scott Dixon, Paul, wife Emma, ducks in and says, can you believe it? Look at the damage. So minimal compared to what everybody else suffered. Many drivers retired from the race. Looks like that's all he had. Looks like the front of one of my cars from back in the day, but this guy is just a warrior. He never gives up. You can never count him out. And that right there is a championship buddy drive.